From an aesthetic standpoint, one can see exactly why this young lady would like to keep her front tooth, despite the large internal resorption defect present. So through the microscope, we make a little opening in the back of the tooth. And because we're dentists, everything that we do is upside down and backwards. Once the inside of the tooth is cleaned, we seal a medicated dressing inside the tooth, mainly calcium hydroxide, which works by dissociation of hydroxyl ions and creates a very alkaline environment that bacteria cannot live in. A temporary filling is placed and the dressing is changed periodically. Once we're confident that the infection and the resorption process has abated, we begin to seal the inside of the tooth and the resorption defect with a bioceramic mineral trioxide aggregate containing cement that's condensed vertically into the resorption defect, which is followed up with a composite resin filling. Looking in the axial plane, moving from the biting surface of the tooth up to the top of the head, we can see the composite resin, which goes down about 10 millimeters, followed by the bioceramic cement. We look at this for ball angles. So in the sagittal plane, we're moving from ear to ear. And in the coronal plane, we're moving from the nose to the back of the head. And the three-dimensional rendering also gives us an idea of what the root filling material actually looks like in somewhat of a more familiar format. Here we're looking at it from the front of the mouth. And now we're looking at it from the inside of the mouth, where the resorption defect is most pronounced. 